working with. Okay. What else have I been focused on? <laughs> I have this week. So how I decided to write initially for the book was to write based on experiences. So when something comes to mind and I've got a really good emotional connection to it, it makes sense to me, it has context, then I will write. What I didn't want to do is to push myself into a situation where I was writing for the sake of writing because that to me doesn't have the right energy, the... It feels a bit, it feels heavy, so I decided for this book to write, of course I'm going to have to do the research, but to write when I feel energetically aligned to what it is that I want to share. So I'm doing that through article writing. So an article, it normally takes me about two hours to create an article. I will then share that on my social media. I will also put an article into on my website. I will also send that out as a newsletter as well. And then I will add it to the bank of articles I already have that I can pull information from for the book. So one of the articles I wrote was, I just want to pop over to my website a second. One of the articles I wrote was how to easily stop, how easy is it to, to stop self-sabotaging yourself? And I talk about it being a, a double-edged sword. Because, oh, I'm shaking my camera. That's not very helpful. <laughs> okay. Where's it gone? How can I not get that? Oh, that's why. It's, you know, um, how easy is it to stop self-sabotaging yourself? It really is a double-edged sword. On some respects, it's very easy. And then on another, actually, it can be quite challenging. But the secret to this is really about making a decision to take action to challenge what it is that is playing out. So let me just see what I've written here. So in a nutshell, in a nutshell, she says, okay, how easy is it to create a new reality? I speak about, I've also spoken about about my awakening, how I've how I woke up, how I became awake, awake, how I started to change my life and to create a different reality for myself. Okay, so what I've got here is how's le how easy to how easy is it to create a new reality? It's a double-edged sword. Sword in some respects it is easy, and in other ways it's not. Yes, you can wake up and make decisions more consciously, but you need the skills, knowledge and insight to be able to navigate and manage a new way of thinking for it to stick. That's the thing. It's the knowledge, the skills and the insight to, while you're making conscious decisions, but it's having that insight to actually stick with it and to make it stick. And that's what we want, is we want to be making decisions that stick and have the capacity, capability, capacity, I'm not sure either of those are the right words, for us to actually create a new reality for ourselves. So it requires conscious action, conscious action taking and exploring why you think and believe the way you do, to be able to get out of your own way. You can't just say, I want to change something about myself and expect miracles to happen. You have to dig deep and explore why you think the way you do to be able to set yourself free and create a new reality to play in your brain is like a computer game you can build a wall to keep things out but if you don't have strong enough foundations the wall is going to fall down and you are back to square one 
I go into a lot more detail in the article, but this is how I'm starting to create articles for the book, content for the book. So while I was feeling that emotionally and energetically, and it felt good to write about, I just wrote about it because it just made complete sense to me. I also wrote about 32 um, key benefits to the conscious coaching reflective toolbox. Now that probably, to be honest, that isn't going to go in the book. That was just me having a complete brain dump about all the benefits that I have personally experienced since being on this self-discovery journey, since creating the conscious coaching toolbox. What have the benefits been for me personally so i just i'm really good with my dyslexic brain i'm really good at just doing once i start i can start doing lists very very quickly so two articles that i have created which are in complete alignment with the book which i can then take content from and use within the book but also i can use it to share on social media to share on my website, to create videos from. So at the same time of writing the book, I'm also marketing the book and the offer consistently to really raise the vibration of it, to really let people know what it is that I am doing, what it is that I want to help people with. So I'm not waiting 10 months to then go, I've written a book. <laughs> What I want to do is start building the community now, building the love now. <laughs> Hence the reason for these uh, video blogs. Build the love and hopefully help you not help. Well, yeah, maybe. Yeah, because the whole idea of the book is to help people, of course, get out of their own way. But bring some insight into how I navigate my business, how I navigate my mindset on a daily basis to to keep myself in check.